Step on it. Oh boy, no, no. You uh, no. Two hours later. Huh? 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 Where is everyone? Why is no one replying to my text? I sent the text two hours ago and they ignore me? Ah! It's a cockroach! Should I, should I kill it? Or should I, should I hit it with my report? I think I'm freaking out. See? Yes, it is my lab report. <laughs> no, it's very hard. Why? <laughs> Why we have so many emotions? Is it from brain or heart? Hey, all the emotions are due to a special system we have in our body, which is nervous system. The nervous system comprises of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system consisting of the brain and the spinal cord, where information is evaluated and decisions are made. And human brain structure. Human brain can divide it into three basic regions: the forebrain, which includes cerebrum, thalamus, hypothalamus, and the pituitary gland; the midbrain, and lastly, the hind brain, which comprises of cerebellum and medulla oblongata. Here is spinal cord. I have pair of spinal nerve branch off from the side of body. The central regions of spinal cord consist of gray metal containing cell body of interneuron and motor neurons, while the outer regions of white metal consist of myelinated axons. Central nervous system constituting the structural anatomy of nervous system. It acts as the center of our thoughts, the interpreter of our external environment, and the origin of control over body movement. Next is the peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system consists of the cranial nerve from the brain and the spinal nerve from the spinal cord. It constitutes the functional anatomy, controls voluntary movements such as chewing food and walking, and regulates autonomy functions such as breathing. Hmm, what is cranial nerve and spinal nerve? The cranial nerve are a set of 12 pair nerve in the back of brain. They send electrical signals between brain, face, neck, and torso, help us to taste, smell, hear, and feel sensations. As the result, we're able to feel happy, <laughs> disgust, <laughs> angry, sad, <laughs> and fear. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerve including 8 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, and 1 coccygeal. Each pair connects the spinal cord with a specific region of the body. They function to receive sensory information from receptors and then transmit this information to the central nervous system. Wow, amazing! Without the nervous system, humans cannot have emotion and react. Thank you for the info. The way is good. I think I will go job for now. Wow, you are such a cute cat. How about your nervous system? Hi! You too! You are such a cute human! My nervous system... You know what? 
our nervous system is almost the same. Really? Yes, I'm not even kidding. My central nervous system includes brain and spinal cord. You know what? My brain is divided into three sections, which is the brain stem, cerebellum, and cerebrum. That's really same with me. But wait, do you have any specialized tissue that I don't have? Of course. I have a specialized tissues called meninges. These specialized tissues cover and protect my brain and spinal cord. Other than that, cerebrospinal fluid surround and protect my brain and spinal cord. How do we have almost the same nervous system while our body structure is not the same? My spinal cord is divided into regions that correspond to the vertebral bodies, which is the bones that make up the spine in the following order from neck to tail, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and caudal segments. What an interesting fact that I have came across today. Wow, what a silly looking fish. Let me take a photo of it. I wonder if it's as stupid as it looks. Excuse me, what did you just say? OMG, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, you should think before you speak. And no, I am not stupid. I have a highly developed nervous system that are organized around my brain. I have a cerebrum that primarily involved with the sense of smell. It also seems to control behaviors such as taking care of the young and exploring the environment. The optic lobes process information from the eye and the cerebellum to coordinate my body movements. I also have medulla which controls my internal organ functions and maintains balance. My brain also associated with spinal cord that serve as the basis of many simple responses and as the major link to the brain for sensory input and brain mediated responses. Apart from brain and spinal cord, I have 10 pairs of cranial nerves all with well-defined ropes such as connecting the muscle and for sensory to connect the brain with the gills and the palate of the mouth. So, do you still with that mindset of me being stupid? No, please forgive me for underestimating you and your system. You are actually kinda cool. Let me feed you food as an apology. Better be good or I won't be accepting your apology. <laughs> Finally, after a long day, I have found my meal. Eh, how can you eat that meal so well? My delicate double tip tongue is able to catch these tank particles and sends them to the ducts of the Jacobson's organ. And finally, we'll send them to the olfactory bulb. Oh, that is very interesting way to smell. What happened next? Then, my brain receives it. My brain has parts that people commonly know, which are the olfactory bulb, the cerebellum, the optic lobe, the pituitary, and the cerebrum. You may think that I don't have any bones, right? Wrong! I have a very long spinal cord, which is made up of hundreds of vertebrae. Wow, you are so interesting. I never knew the snake was this good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, since you have acknowledged how good and fascinating I am, I think I'm not going to eat you today. Phew, thanks. Works every time. The next day. You look so small. Did you not eat me? I am small. I have a highly regular temper. I have a spinal cord and also a lot. Oh, same with me, human. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, but my cerebral is smaller compared to yours. And I have an intense spinal nerve and you have 50 spinal nerve. Hmm. Did your brain are protected since you look so squishy? My brain are lies well protected inside the microneum of skull and it is surrounded by two meninges. You look so interested to know about me. Before you asking so much question, let me explain more about my nervous system. 
<laughs> All right. My brain can be explained into three parts. The first part is a forebrain that consists of olfactory lobes that are concerned with a sense of smell, since I cannot smell very well. Other than that, a narrow in front but broad behind, there is a cerebral hemisphere, where it is the place of my memory, my intelligence, and consciousness. This structure also regulates my voluntary action. To help with my vision and balance, there is a diencephalon which lies just behind the cerebrum. The second part of my brain is my midbrain. It is the broadest part and consists of an aero canal called as ether. Lastly, my hidden brain consists of cerebellum and medulla oblongata. My cerebrum are placed dorsally just behind my optic lobes and it controls the equilibrium and muscular coordination, which is not, uh, not important for me. But the most important part for me is my medulla oblongata. Even though it is very small, but it is continuous with a spinal cord, and without it, my heart cannot beat and I cannot breathe without it. Wow! Oh, thank you, Ribbit. I will always remember Ribbit nervous system. Hello, I am Moto Neuron. You can also call me Afra Neuron. I am located in the ventral root ganglion of the spinal cord. As you can see, I have similar structures like sensory neurons. However, there are a few differences between us. My cell body is located at the terminal end and connected to dendrites. Besides, I have longer axon but shorter dendrites compared to sensory neuron. Hey, I am Inti Neuron. You guys need my help to be connected. I am located between you, sensory neuron, and you, motor neuron. Different from you guys, my axon does not possess myelin sheaths that produce strong cells. Besides, I have short dendrite and short axon. My dendrite responsible to receive impulse from sensory neuron with my axon responsible to pass impulse to motor neuron. In the central nervous system, there are four types of supporting cells. The first one is oligodendrocytes. The axons of many neurons are insulated by a myelin sheath, which increases the rate at which an axon can conduct an action potential. In multiple sclerosis, the myelin sheaths in the central nervous system are destroyed and action potentials are slowed. Myelin is formed by oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system. Oligodendrocytes myelinate several axons from different nerves up to around 50. Next, we have microglia. These types of cells are less common. They have a role in immune defense and become phagocytic in response to infections or tissue damage. The next cells are astrocytes. These cells are the most common type of supporting cell. They are involved in the metabolic exchange between neurons and blood. Lastly, we have ependymal cells. These cells line the ventricles and spinal canal. 
they have cilia on their luminal surface. They play a critical role in cerebrospinal fluid homeostasis, brain metabolism, and the clearance of waste from the brain. Now, in the peripheral nervous system, there is one type of supporting cell, the Schwann cell. Schwann cells serve as the myelinating cell of the peripheral nervous system and support cells of peripheral neurons. A Schwann cell forms a myelin sheet by wrapping its plasma membrane concentrically around the inner axon. Let me explain to you. The extracellular surface of neurons is above in a solution of positively charged sodium and negative chloride ions, while the inner surface has positively charged potassium ions and negatively charged proteins. The interior of the cell is negative concerning the exterior environment. When it is not stimulated, neurons are resting and maintain the resting potential of negative 70 millivolts. There are sodium and potassium voltage-gated channels found at the node of Ranvier. When there is a stimulus, sodium ions enter the interior of the neuron and depolarize the node of Ranvier. Sodium ions flow into the axon until its threshold potential, which is negative 55 millivolts, generating an action potential. The action potential therefore jumps from one node of Ranvier to another along the axon. This is known as saltatory conduction. Take your